first thing you see as you enter the community clinic of Maui is a welcoming mosaic created by one of Maui's local artists. We wanted a water feature in our clinic so that we could have a, a, a welcoming space for our patients. Our purpose is to serve the underserved, uh, people who don't have insurance, people who can't get access to medical care anyplace else. We believe very much in being able to give our patients the best patient experience that they can have and we had a wonderful opportunity through Monica to be able to have this in our lobby. And it was actually a decision that we all made together of really what we wanted. When I was asked to make the proposal, I really wanted to create something that spoke of community. I also thought since they're in Wailuku, I was, you know, something kind of based on Wailuku. My dad thought of the Iao Needle, that made sense, as a symbol of Wailuku. And so I drove to Iao Valley, past all the houses that are in the lower part of Iao Valley. It, it just hit me, that's perfect, because that represented not only community with all the different houses, it was also represented the cultures within our community, which kind of create a beautiful kind of a patchwork. It was very impactful with the rainbow and the Iao needle and the water too. You can really see what it is from about 30 or 40 feet away. I also planned it so when you get up close, you find a lot of little surprises. The piece is called Aloha for Community, and it's brimming with life. There are hula dancers dancing to the music provided by the guitar and ukulele players. There's a boy kicking a soccer ball around. And there's a boy fishing, because I know lots of people like to fish in the Iao stream. Either crayfish or fish. I don't know what he's getting. The girl is taking out the loaves of bread that have just been baked, and she has her faithful dog next to her. And then I have a boy taking a nap in the Korean house. My warrior down here is, he's kind of protecting the village. He's, he's very strong. And then there's the vegetation that plants you right in the heart of Wailuku. A royal poinciana tree. There's a lot of those in Wailuku. And the Chinese house has the little bushes because somebody prunes those back into really nice shapes. And then I have the coconut trees, some tea leaf plants in front of the Hawaiian Hale, and lawaii next to the tea leaf. The animals add a bit of whimsy to the piece. There's pigs enjoying their little mud bath. And there's chickens crossing the bridge. And there's a cat right behind them because the cat, of course, is interested in the baby chickens. There are two roosters in the Filipino house, and they're kind of eyeing each other. The smallest inhabitant of the piece is a mongoose. A pu'eo on top of the Hawaiian holly in the middle, and that represents wisdom to me, so I wanted to put the owl on the Hawaiian holly. There's a lot that goes into making a mosaic. This is a glass-cutting bandsaw, and you work by pushing the glass up against the blade as it's going like a piece of wood. And I use this on the big mosaic piece to create a lot of the straight pieces for the houses. These are the glass mosaic tile. These are pretty common. And the other type you can get is used for stained glass. This is the clear one. There's a lot of really beautiful opaque types of glass. A really kind of special one that I found on the internet, it's a mirror-backed tile. I realized that it would make really nice water for me. There are two ways to cut the tile by hand. One is you score it, and then you use this tool to break it along the score line. And then you have your two pieces. The other way and we should be wearing eye protection for this. This is how I work with the smaller tiles. They don't meet, but they come close enough that they will break the tile in half. If you want to make rounded edges, you have to do something called nibbling. This is your nibbler. So you just do small cuts to try and make a rounded piece. So these are the musicians. So I drew them out. And then I put them under the mesh. And then I would cut my glass pieces and glue them onto the mesh. And then this mesh, once the glass tile was glued onto it, went on to this Durarock 
or wonder board. I estimated it took me five to six hundred hours of work to create this mosaic. And as you can see, she just did a beautiful job. It's really symbolic of community and really this area with the Eel Valley in the back and all of the different holidays and the different cultures that we serve. So it's very representative of that. The fountain just gives that peacefulness um, that we want to embrace and have our patients be able to have in the clinic. There's going to be a lot of you know, families that come to the community clinic, so I imagine that the children would be held by their parents and they would be pointing things out and naming things and finding things. So I'm hoping that it's, it's fun for the kids. I kind of believe there's an artist in me trying to get out. And when I found mosaics, I found my medium and I've been doing them ever since. Aloha for community will be enjoyed by many people for years to come thanks to an artist whose love of Maui and its people shines through in her work.